I am the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. Hey, this is a sharp knife, and this is the dull one. How do you compare the sharpness? That's today's topic. I have found a genius way to compare the sharpness of the knife, and I guarantee you, you have never ever seen anything like it anywhere else before. You need a kitchen scale and a piece of a styrofoam. The length of the styrofoam is wider than the scale. And you need uh, some thread. First, you cut a piece of thread and then you tie the two end to make a loop. And then you put the loop over the styrofoam and lift your scale. On the lower part, you see the thread is dangling and you put your knife, try to cut it. But before you cut, and notice the scale. Once you start cutting, pressure, and now is the rating is, is eight ounces. This is the dull knife. Let's repeat the same thing. And I'm increasing the pressure on the knife. And now it's passing one pound. Now it's passing 1.4 and 1.8. And then it's 12 ounces and two pounds two pounds and eight ounces. So that's um, a spot here. If you test different spot, it may be different. Eh? Traditional way to test sharpness is by cutting paper like this. This is a sharp knife, a little bit easier to cut. It sometimes cut, sometimes it doesn't. And compared to a dull knife, it's even harder to cut and sometimes it's still cut. So the difference is not very obvious. My way of using the scale, I can say precisely how many pounds is better. And that was two pounds and eight ounces compared to eight ounces are two pounds difference. So very quantifiable and precise measurement. If you have a different scale, you can find different thickness of the thread, so you can have a wide range to compare. There are three benefits of a precise measurement. The first one is save you time. When you spend the time sharpening your knife, it will be nice for you to know when you should stop. There's no point wasting your time if it's already sharp. The second is you can focus on specific spot. For example, this spot is dull and towards to the tip is already pretty sharp. So you don't have to waste time sharpening the whole thing. You can use the scale to test which part needs sharpening. The third one is you can use the scale to test your hacks. There are many hacks throughout the internet. Some hacks actually make your knife worse. You really don't want your expensive knife to get damaged. So this is a way to try and test the hacks. If you don't have the scale, you can make a scale yourself. I have a bag with some coins. On top of a bag, I have a paper clamp. On the clamp, I have a thread. And I put the, the bag on the counter. I will lift the bag with the knife. You see, it's not cutting it. So that means I need to add more coin to save you time. I'm not going to put the one coin at a time. I'm going to just put the whole bag here and I bet it will break. See, it broke. So it's, you know, some portion of the coin that would uh, make this just cut. The way you tell the difference between this knife and that knife, you can say, for example, 30 coins, or you can estimate weight, one quarter is 0.2 ounce. You can put like this noodle, a pound, or this macaroni cheese, seven ounce. I'm thinking about making a video about how to sharpen the knife the genius way. Let me know which of these topics you want to see. Is the $1 knife from dollar store sharper than the more expensive ones? How to use white stone to sharpen your knife without wasting your time? Are the sharpening tools that you can buy good or bad? Which sharpening hacks can actually damage your knife? How do you make your own angle guide and use it? How to use a steel rod to sharpen your knife. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.